Today we will be reviewing the maintenance kit roller replacement procedure for the HP LaserJet M712 and M725. The maintenance kit part number for this is CF249A and the fuser would be the CF235-67921. The maintenance kit contains a number of different parts, too many to mention, but I'll leave the descriptions and part numbers and quantities in the comment section. And uh, this works on a number of different models, DNs, Ns, Xs. I'll leave those device part numbers as well in the comment section. Now the symptoms that you will you would uh, hear or, or get if you're it's time to replace the maintenance kit would be obviously the replacement message on the control panel would be displayed any type of whining or high pitch groaning noise any type of noise from the fuser misfeeds multi page feed uh, paper jams page skewing grinding noise a uh, number of different fuser errors and, and image defects as well today we'll be using the m725 mfp as our device for the demo but it uh, procedure will be similar across all the different models uh, we'll start by making sure the printer is off and unplugged, and we'll approach this from the right side, beginning with tray one. install good magnetic tip screwdriver comes very handy on this machine now we're going to move on to the roller that's on the inside Just uh, pieces of plastic with tension on them on the sides. It was prior to release the tension to remove it, and we'll reinstall it. Moving on to the transfer roller, we'll move the cartridge. And now you don't want to use any. Uh, uh, Touch, touch the transfer roller with your hands. The oils from your hands will uh, can damage the roller. So it's best to use gloves or the tool that comes with the uh, maintenance kit. I'm going to reverse to reinstall. Now we're going to move on to the lower trays, two, three. I'll do my best to get the a shot of this. It's very tight. But you see the rollers on the right and up. Both of these rollers are the same for both uh, tray 2 and 3. And we'll reverse the procedure to reinstall. These two are spring loaded. So after installation, just uh, uh, rotate it a little bit. 
I guess rotate wouldn't be the right word. The uh, just press in to make sure that it, you you do hear a click and it uh, and it is secure. Complete. I'll move on to the parts within the tray. And we'll reverse the procedure to reinstall. That will bring us to tray four, which we will remove. Uh, tray five and six are identical to tray four, so in the interest of saving time, we will just do tray four. You can see the uh, plastic knob on the uh, roller. Just uh, press it in to release the tension and remove. And similar, on, yes, on the, the other roller as well. And we'll reverse the procedure. Reinstall. Again, similar recommendation to draw back. Make sure it is secure. And then your tray four is complete. Moving on to the fuser, we'll remove the duplexer, should you have one. Open the access door, release the tension to remove it. Couple of repair notes on this while we have time. The, the uh, repair time for this is a, right around 10 minutes. There's uh, page count reset instructions, which I will include in the comment section below. And um, it's recommended uh, by the OEM for about 200,000 pages. And uh, this maintenance kit for the 712 and 725 are available in a number of different options here at Metrofuser. OEM and compatible. And we also have the uh, parts diagrams for both machines located on uh, online, metrofuser.com. Now we're, we're going to remove the outer guide, which is secured to the fuser. Okay, and we'll reverse the procedure to reinstall.
we'll make sure those blue tabs are pointing in the upward position and reinstall the outer access panel. Reinstall the duplexer, should you have one. The process is complete. I want to thank you for watching. Please click like and subscribe. And for more valuable how-to videos, instructions, visit metrofuser.com and click on the blog link and search by the model. Thanks, have a good day.